Hey you guys, it's Dana and Daisy is now two weeks old and I wanted to talk to you about breastfeeding and how it's going. Daisy is my fourth child and I have breastfed all of my prior children and each of them have been a little bit different. With Daisy, she was full term and she latched on immediately, no problems, and that was really nice because with my prior children, I actually had to struggle with them for about a month to get them to latch on, and it was sort of a constant battle. I had to pump, we had to supplement, but this time around, I haven't had to supplement at all, and I haven't needed to pump. However, I am pumping once a day, and I'm getting about four ounces out, and my body has never reacted great to the pump, but I'm trying to pump to build up a stash for when I go back to work. And so that is what I'm doing with that. The first couple days in the hospital were really good. She was latching on. We didn't use a pacifier. And like I said, we didn't introduce any kind of formula. She still hasn't had any supplementation with formula. And we are using a pacifier very limited, very limitedly. How do you say that? <laughs> Basically, I'm constantly nursing, it feels like, and after the first four days, I started to get very sore. So between day four and day 12, every time I would latch on Daisy, it was excruciatingly painful, and I was cracked, I was bleeding. Her latch was correct, and you know she had the puckered lips, and I made sure she was latched on correctly. However, I am very sensitive, and when you know, women nowadays with how much we protect our bodies, we're not out in the sun, walking around braless. So it takes a while to toughen up. And for me, it takes about 12 to 13 days. And at this point now, it's not that excruciating pain that I was experiencing before. And luckily I was on painkiller after the C-section and that helped me a lot with that pain. But then I was taking Tylenol and then some Advil and I was trying to, you know, help myself get through that initial stage of nursing because I literally would sit in there sweating in pain trying to get through it. So I have some products here I'm going to show you that I use to try to help my nipples to heal and the first one that I used with my prior babies is the Lansino Lanolin. So here it is. And this is very sticky. This stuff go, kind of coats onto your nipple and it's very sticky. Here's the tube that I was using. So I will show you what this looks like. So you can see it's like a yellowy, pasty, kind of sticky, and it just kind of coats onto your nipple and you leave, after you're done nursing, you stick it on there. And this works pretty well. It's kind of to provide that wet, moist healing so that you don't crack and you don't have scabs that rip off when you're nursing, which can be very painful. And then I went onto my Facebook page because that's what I always do when I need advice. And a lot of you guys told me to try some other products. And one of those products was Earth Mama Angel Baby Natural Nipple Butter. And this is actually olive oil and cacao seed and shea butter. So this is a sort of grainy material. So let me show you what this looks like. So here we go, it comes in this little tin. This is a little two fluid ounce container. So you can see in there. This one is kind of more, like I said, grainy, but it goes on a lot smoother. As you can see, it kind of rubs in. It's not that sticky paste like the lanolin is because it's mostly olive oil. And of course, you can just use olive oil. You don't have to buy this stuff. Each one of these was about $10. And then the last one that I bought was My Breast Friend Nipple Cream. And this one is aloe vera and then shea butter and coconut oil. That's what is in this. So there is the Breast Friend Nipple Cream. And this is smooth, a little bit, a little grainy, but this is smooth and also just kind of rubs in. There. And My Breast Friend and the Earth Mama are both lanolin free, so if you have an 
allergic reaction to lanolin or your baby does, then these are good alternatives for that. They're all safe for you and for your baby. You don't have to wash it off before you nurse. You can leave it on. I did notice that for Daisy, the first time she latched on after I used one of these different products, she sort of was having a reaction like, what is that? But she immediately latched on right again. She didn't have any problems with it. And uh, she's had no reaction. Out of all the products, I would say that I really am liking the Earth Mama nipple butter. I feel like that's kind of helping me a lot, but I like having all of them. <laughs> and uh, the lanolin is just so sticky, and that's why I don't like it when I stick it on, but it helps, it does help with the healing process. And uh, so I don't know, as far as which product I would say is best, I guess I would stick with the Earth Mama. I like that the best, even though it is kind of grainy when you stick it on. But like I said, you can just use your own coconut oil if you have it at home or olive oil. You don't have to purchase any of these products. But um, I have very sore nipples, they're starting to get better. However, when she first latches on, I still have about 30 seconds of pain where I'm like, like that and kind of wincing and then it goes away and then it's okay. So it's just the first 30 seconds of latch on and that's pretty normal that that happens. Some women don't have any pain or they have very minimal amounts of discomfort when they're nursing and I'm very fair skinned and that was not my experience. <laughs> so the first 14 days, like I said, are really painful for me and these products are sort of essential. So leave me a comment down below if you have something else that you like to use that helped you getting through that initial time period and if you had cracking and bleeding and how you dealt with that to get through it and I just nursed right through it and it was it's really hard it was really painful but I think we're getting out of it now like I said and so it's getting better so that's it a little update on breastfeeding and I will talk to you guys in the next video bye